Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffled Rallet and welcome back to a brand new video and series on the channel guys. Welcome to the first episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Guys, this is going to be an exciting series because we have a lot of things to talk about about this game and about the series that we're going to be doing here. But before we do that guys, in the first episode of the series, the episode 0, I asked you guys to choose our starter and we had over 1,000 500 people voting. That's 1,500 votes. That's a lot of votes. So thank you guys all for voting. But the most insane part is, like, how many votes the winner had. So we'll go through the winners. You'll see the votes on the screen right over here. I'll show them for you guys so you can see who actually had the most votes. So we have, of course, first of all, we had Litten, which is Ghost and Fire, which had 31% of the votes. Then we had Poplio with 19% of the votes. And of course, our starter Pokemon, Rowlet, which is going to be our number one right now. You all know it because it is my mascot, so a lot of people voted for it for that reason. Is Rowlet, Dark and Grass, and it is our starter with 51% of the votes. That's almost half the votes going specifically to Rowlet, guys. So out of 1,500, that's quite a lot. So guys, thank you so much all for voting. I really do appreciate it, guys. Now we're going to start this series. If, but just before we start, guys, make sure to drop a like down below, guys. Let's see if we can hit... 500 likes on this series and on this first episode guys 500 if you can do that then we all know this is going to be a dank delicious and beautiful series so please drop a like down below and my question of the day guy today guys is like um if you could choose one of these starters that we have like that, we, that i showed in the last episode which one would it be would it be the litten ghost and fire the poplio psychic and water or the rallet grass and dark so let me know guys what do you what like what you would chose would you what you would have chosen, so just so I know. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm just excited, okay, because I've been spending a lot of time making this, like, series, like, properly and trying to set it up. So here we go, guys. Now, we won't have any encounters counting here until we are, like, I guess, up until the first uh, Pokemon Center. Uh, and I did randomize the game, though I am not sure how this is going to work, because there are a few things that, for some reason, when you randomize them, they stay the same. So I'm not sure what that's going to be about that, but if anything is wrong, I will fix it. Um, you know, in the future, and uh, I'll make sure to, you know, make it all uh, dank, delicious, and beautiful in the uh, uh, next episode, so to say. But yeah, so um, what we have done, guys, is for this extreme randomizer, we've actually added, uh, I've actually added my own custom textured Pokemon uh, to the game. Okay, a Dugong. Well, that's that's interesting. Uh, so I thought we could do a tiny bit of grinding here before, like with Rowlet, as you can see right there, it is Rowlet, uh, but I gave him the name Rowlet. Just because uh, it is our channel name, so thought why not. So we do have a uh, we have fake tears, grassy terrain, and absorb on him, which is pretty dank delicious. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be honest. Uh, it's not too bad, um, and I mean it's a dugong, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with uh, absorbing you know its health into ourselves here. Pretty pretty nice. Uh, he's gonna do a lot of damage though. So um, we will be taking on How right now. I think it's our first rival battle in a second, but uh, I thought we could do a tiny bit, a tad bit of grinding here right before we take him on. Uh, because uh, I'm not really sure what he's going to have, because I think he's also randomized, so it's very hard to guess what he may may have, like, you know, as his Pokemon. Um, but we'll see what he ends up having, and uh, if it is anything good or bad, we will know very soon, lads. We'll know very, very soon. So here we go. Boom. Yeah, there you go, boys. Level 6, not bad. Our health should go up slightly there. Nope. I, mean, I, I think it did. Oh, well, whatever. Either way, so let's make our way down to, uh, well, not down to, but rather over here so we can actually take on how. But wait, oh, yeah. I want to enter that grass over there because I want to look for a few more Pokemon because we have a few custom-made Pokemon in this game, guys. We have, well, actually, not a few. We have about 60 or so. But the problem is it's like... It's going to vary by the chances, like, it's going to be very, very chances of finding them. And, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit hard to, like, find the ones that we really want, which is, like, you know, the cool ones that have the cool forms and stuff. But, uh, hopefully, we will find some cool ones. And uh, that's what I'm going to be, you know, mainly focusing on. But, uh, let's see. Fair enough. I guess the way it was just fate for us guys to meet. We can choose one of these two, how? Mark and Mrow. <laughs> then my partner will be Poplio. I choose you. Mark? Okay. Alola, friend. Wait, Alola, friend? I decided ages ago that you're the one that I wanted to have the adventure with. Mm, you look quite dank delicious, aren't you? We're gonna have there was so much awesome stuff to we're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. Okay, mate, I believe you totally. Yes, of course, because um, that sounds very reasonable. Uh <laughs> Professor, you'll take good care of Litton. Wait, you'll take good care of Litton, right? Wait, you'll take good care of Litton, right? You better believe I will, Hal. Mm hmm, yes, quite, 
quiet yes <laughs> all right then listen everybody time to get back into your balls for now wait up me and poppy have a fa favor to ask we are uh, wait opponents in our first ever pokemon battle together sure dude let's go mate hold on before you two step into the ring let's make sure little pop wait uh, little rallet is uh, up to it i'm pretty sure he is I'm pretty sure he's up. I'm pretty sure Rallet is up to it, dude. I'm pretty sure my boy can do this. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm positive. Here we go, boys. Let's do this. We're taking on Hal in our first battle. And he is, okay, never mind. He is fire, firefighter Hal. Okay, cool, <laughs> dude. That actually changes the way he looks? Well, shit. I did not know that. Uh, I thought he was just going to change his name. Well, then, guys, that is Hal now. He's a firefighter. Um... Cool, and he has a, a croco, a croco rock. Uh, so that's gonna be. <laughs> he has a croco rock, so that's gonna be great. Um... <laughs> okay, cool. So he's a firefighter. Um, I'm gonna go for grassy terrain here. Set that up. He's gonna go for dig. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go for uh, grassy, uh, grassy terrain, and uh, also all the moves have been randomized, but they're randomized based on their typing. So uh, when we do encounter something, it will be randomized, you know, uh, based on its typing. So it, its moves will be based on what it, you know, likes using. So here we go. Okay, he's gonna hit me with dig, which is gonna do a reasonable amount, a, a, little, a reasonable amount of damage, not like crazy amounts, but it's fair enough. A Got absorbed, and we're gonna make. Uh, oh, he's. Oh, yeah, of course he gets healed as well. We'd also get healed. Sweet, almost full health, dude. Sweet man. Okay, so another absorb here, and I think we should be able to hit him at least one or two more times, and we should be fine. Uh, what did he just use? Let me see. Mm. Oh wait, I didn't even see what move he used. I actually missed the move he used there. Wow, rip me. So it's gonna be pretty annoying because we're both gonna get healed here. But I think about going over fake tears because then we can set that up and do that extra tiny little bit of a, you know, not not tiny little bit, but you know that little bit of extra damage. You know what I mean? Uh, with absorb. So let's go for that. Oh, that's special defense harshly. Very nice. It's gonna restore his health. That's fine. Uh, let's go for absorb now, boys. Ye yeah, boy. Okay, he just um, ups his defense and uh, let's see. Okay, this is. Uh, oof. This is not looking too... Oh, never mind, dude! Oh! Okay, that was great. I didn't even, I didn't even manage to see, like, what move he used there for a second. But whatever, dude. Here we go. Level 7, mate. Let's go, mate. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. So, now that we are level 7, uh, it should... I think we should get a move soon, don't we? I think so. Level 8, never mind. Yes! Sparkling Aria. Shit. Is it just me, or is that one move you don't hear about much? Let's see. Whoa, that was awesome, Ruffled. You and Rallet are both so cool. Yes, mate, of course we are. You've got to be, wait, you would have these kind of battles where, uh, wait, <laughs> wait, uh, you've got, uh, you've got to have, uh, the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Sure, I'll take it. Right on, Ruffled. You and Hal both brought out the best in your partners. And pulled off some spectacular moves, yeah? Ikatan is right up those stairs. Come on, Ruffled. S sure, man, I'll, 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 I'll come along. Okay, you should uh, definitely come along, man. Okay, so before we do that, I want to go make sure we do this, okay? I just want to look through, because we have a Pokeball right here. We have a Pokeball right back there. So we want to go and check, like, uh, what you got here, boys? What you got? What you, what you got for me, boy? Holy shit, dude. There it is. Okay. Yo, I forgot. Okay. Oh, shit, dude. That is awesome, mate. Oh, God. It's the Galissapod, mate. <laughs> what? Okay, we gotta catch this thing, okay? We gotta catch this thing. We have to catch it. It's just it's just common sense. We have to catch it. Um we have to catch this thing, dude. What? That is in insane. That is insane, dude. Okay, so I'm not sure if I wanna fight this thing yet. Um but we're lucky enough because uh, this doesn't matter much because of the fact that we do have uh what you might call it, um we do not have the first encounter here yet, because we don't have a Pokeball yet. So once we get Pokeballs and stuff, we will be fine. So there's a Paralyzed Heal here. Uh, looks like, I think that's supposed to be there. I'm not sure if that's randomized, but it's fine. Even if it isn't randomized, I may go and re-randomize it in the future, in case, you know, they aren't randomized and that sort of stuff. Uh, and uh, Maractus. Okay, cool. So, uh, damn, there is the Glissapod here, mate. Uh, <laughs> that's insane, dude. That is genuinely insane, man. Holy moly, bro. That is, that's epic, dude. I swear to God, I, I love Glissapod. Uh, but that was just insane, dude. Okay, anyway, so let's make our way up here. 
and see what we got on our what we got on our uh, little to do list now, lads. Let's see what we got on our to do list. Okay, let's see. Icky Town. Hey, mmm, that's a very nice. Okay, what you got? And here we are. This right here is Icky Town. Okay, what do you got in Icky Town, buddy? What do you got in Icky Town? Ooh. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? Okay, cool. That's very interesting. I do want to know, though. What's the deal with Tapu Koko? It looks like the Kahuna's uh, nowhere to be found, though. Hmm, I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to nobody. Singing a little ditty or something. Mm-hmm, boss. Yes, very nice. I'm going to go stop by home for a sec. I've got to show my mom Poplio. Okay, you do that, fam. I just want to really, really, really go and see some other things. Hey, I've got an idea for you, Ruffles. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. Okay. That's our island guardian deity, yeah? Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're really lucky, maybe he'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. <laughs> I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back. Okay, cool, man. That's cool. That's totally fine. We'll do that. We'll accept your challenge. We'll make it up the mountain and see what's up here. Also, I like the casual, like, casual, like, uh, old men just standing in, like, you know, uh, around and just, just not doing anything. Hello, the lady. Going to pay your respects to the guardian deity? It's a fickle one, but I hope you meet it. Uh, sure. I mean, I hope I meet it as well, but, you know, I mean, it's whatever. <laughs> it's whatever, man. It's just whatever, man. Okay, so, we're gonna make our way up here. Okay, never mind. We have something happening. Right, it's Lily. It's a Lily. She's doing something. Oh, I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins. So please, stay in the bag. We get in trouble if anyone sees you. Who might see you? Who may it be? What is this treachery? Never mind. Let's make our way up. And see what happens on the road. Okay, here we go. So, what's happening? What are we doing? Oh no. She running. Run, girl, run. Don't stop. Hey, it's your boy. It's your boy. Nibi. Uh, Nibi. Looking fresh. And looking scared. Never mind. Here come the sparrows. And they're going to be dangerous and very, very bad for you. So uh, you should probably watch out. This makes no sense to me. Why would the sparrows randomly appear like that? I mean, I get it if you like you were provoking them originally. But like, sparrows are weird, man. I mean, you guys feel about that? Sparrows are weird, dude. Sparrows are really weird. I don't know, man. They're weird. I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of sparrow. Uh, either way. Okay, hello there. How you doing? You need some help? Uh, what's wrong? Help! Save Nebby! Okay, sure, I, I can do that, no worries. I'll do that for you, I'll do that for you anytime. Oh no, come on, Nebby, don't get scared. We will help you, okay? We will save you. Don't worry. I got you. Uh, those sparrows are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. You need to help me. Help me, Master Ruffled. Please, please save Nebby. I'll need a Pokemon for you, so please do it. Please save my beautiful Nebster. Save it from this treacherous situation. Here we go. So, first things first is going to be this Sparrow that we're going to be taking on here, which is fine. No problem. I can take you on, buddy. I can take you on. So, we didn't actually change any of the textures on Sparrow, which maybe we should have done that. Maybe we should have made Sparrow into a cool-ass Pokemon, but uh, we, we have not done, done that, so it's it's fine. Uh, either way, so Sparkling Ari has a Water-type move. Why do we have a Water-type move? I just realized that. Like, these randomizations are weird, dude. Um, either way, so we'll go for, I guess we'll just go for uh, Fake Tears and then go for uh, Absorb. So we'll go fake tears and then for absorb, so we can do that little bit of tiny extra damage because of its lower defense, um, special defense. I mean, and uh, he's gonna go for was that what was that like? Is my defense is down? But what did he use though? I didn't see. Was that leer? Did he use leer? I think he used leer. I'm pretty sure he used leer. I'm not sure though. Hmm. Yeah, he did use leer. Okay, sweet. Oh shit, no, not that's not sweet. What am I saying? That is definitely not sweet, dude. That's dangerous, mate. That is dangerous. Whew. No, 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 fam. There we go, boys. Okay, we're doing a bit of extra damage. Um, let's just get the absorb up again. And uh, boom! There you go. Sparrow is dead, man. That's extra, like, HP. No, sorry, not ex extra HP. I mean, extra uh, <laughs> XP we have is actually pretty good. It comes very well in, like, very handy in, like, in situations. It helps out quite a lot. You managed to chase off one of the Sparrow, but, oh, there are still more. Please, please save Nebby if you can. Be careful. It looks like the attack may have damaged the plank bridge, too. Okay, I don't care. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rush through this. Okay. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Here we go. Come on now. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get away from Nebby. Get away from Nebby, you fools. Don't you try to damage little Nebby. Don't you try that again. Oh, here we go. Snap, boy. <laughs> you just got roasted. Oh, you guys just got roasted. You just got totally destroyed, man. Totally destroyed. And here comes... Ooh. Ya boy, Tapu Coco. Not bad. How you doing, buddy? That's a pretty cool save you got there. Pretty nice. It's a very nice. And we are both very confused. Of course we are. Come on. Oh, shit. Yeah, he, he mad, though. And now he's gone. And that was weird. And that is fine. I do kind of wonder, though, if he's a guardian deity, why would he show himself so? I mean, of course, to save people who, who are having innocence in their hearts. Either way, pew! Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened, what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time. I couldn't even help you in return. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. What? What is that? Oh, you found something in the in the in the grounds. Pew, pew. Okay, what is it? A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Okay, please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous uh, dangerous spot. Okay. Who are you? Who are you actually? And I suppose this stone must belong to you. Okay, so you are Lily. Mm, very spicy. Okay, and uh, this stone must belong to you. Fair enough. I'll take it. I'll take the stone. I'm much, much appreciated. Much appreciated. You obtained the sparkling stone. Cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Please, don't tell anybody about this, about seeing Nebby. It, it, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Pew! I love Nebby, man. Nebby is adorable. Okay, so, let's see. We are now done with you, and Nebby is back in the bag. Get back in the bag, Nebby. Don't you stay outside the bag, girl, or you will get smacked. Mmm. I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. <sighs> I know it's too much to ask. Uh, wait, uh, too much for me to ask it. But do you think you could see us back to town? Sure, why not? Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go, boys. Here we go. But yo, I am. I'm so excited to see if we can catch that Galissapod, dude. Because that would be insane. Like straight up insane, man. That would be epic. So I do want to see if I can get that, um, because that would be bloody awesome, man. Like, I love that, dude. Let's see, uh, Ruffle, you all remet Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. Yeah, man. Let's go, dude. So, let's see who we're going to meet right now. So, there's one thing I know, like, I agree on this when people say it, is that this game, like, this game and the previous game also have way too long introductions and too much text. Uh, too many text walls, to be fair. But, um, so at least this one has li less than uh, Sun and Moon. So, Lily, I thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala said he had to do something to attend to. We had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail while I waited for him to return. And that's how uh, and that's how he met our neighbor, Ruffled, huh? He just got to a little yesterday. Help him find his way around, yeah? Sure she will. So you're uh, also one of the professor's acquaintances. It's nice to meet you. Yes. Yes, yes, I am. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our guardian's chosen one is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon uses in all in all of Lola, yeah. Yeah, man. It's pretty good, man. It's pretty good, dude. <laughs> look at him, though. He, dude, I swear to God, he has the most fresh-ass look ever. Have you guys thought about that? He looks fresh, though, dude. Look at him, though. Look at that Look at that bare belly, dude. Like, that is just fresh, mate. Fresh. Have I missed something? There you are, Kahuna Hala. Wait. There you are, Kahuna Hala. Was there uh, some kind of trouble? Oh, just caught up in the middle of a some brawling rock rough, that's all. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Okay, ooh. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, yes, Kahuna Hala. Maybe got attacked by some sparrow on the plank bridge. And Ruffle here helped protect it. And then the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And there, wait, and that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Wow, whoa, that's uh, something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Mm. It's a fickle creature, yes. Mm. Do or do not, there is no try. Uh, Kukui, my boy, I think we have the cause to celebrate. Looks like uh, we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. We sure do, mate. We sure do. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. 
Welcome to Alola, young Kukui. Wait, young Kukui uh, had told me of uh, your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Sure, mate. I'm glad we got to meet as well. It looks looks pretty fresh, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Oh, when did you get out again? I know. Uh, wait, I, I know. When did you get out again? Oh my god. I swear to, I swear to god, Debbie. Chill, girl. Either way. Another Kahuna Hala. Wait, and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you, you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. I have read that Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know? True that. Very true. Alright, here's a lovely gift from uh, me to help make today special ruffled. Hey, what, what do we get, boy? What do we get? Hey, a Pokedex. Let's go. We got the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a really high-tech kind of tool. Yeah. That can automatically record facts about many or any Pokemon that you may meet. Uh, your new partner, Riley, is already registered. Oh, yeah, so check it out. Sweet mates, thank you. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> and uh, this is a trainer passport that I had uh, put together for you. Sweet. Well, you got to meet the Kahuna uh, at least. Ready to head home now, Ruffled? Yes, mate. I am very ready. Let's go and do that. Oh, yeah, Ruffled. Hold up a sec. Oh, he wants... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're doing another battle? <gasps> what is it? How did you forget something? Uh, you're seriously asking me that? Who's the one that waits uh, here who forgot to tell anyone before uh, wandering off for a little stroll and a sing without a word? Fair enough. Hmm, ruffled. Would you be so kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Yes, sir. You can have it. For all I care, I don't really want it. <laughs> Could it be? Wait, Tutu, wait, Tutu. Isn't that... Yes. You were rescued by Tapu Koko at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, ruffled? Yes, it rescued me. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Tapu Koko rescued me. It was insane. Very dangerous. Cool stuff happened. So even... Uh, wait, so it even uh, dined to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in Alola Ruffled, because this is where you are meant to be. Let me to borrow the stone for now. Mm, fret not. I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. Cool, man. I'll take it, dude. You must be, wait, do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. Sure, man. Sure, sure, sure man. Sure, sure, dude. I'll take it. First, I'll make sure uh, you get back home safe. Today, though, Ruffled, Lily, you two sure to come with us, too. Wouldn't, go, wouldn't want to go lose you uh, twice in one day. You or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on... Oh, God. I love Nebby, dude. Le Nebby's, like, the most adorable. Oh. And you, would you try not to escape the very moment that we were told not to wander off? <laughs> That's actually funny. That's literally funny, because she says that, and he's just... Comedy gold, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with uh, the way they, they kind of set that joke up. Hello, Mother. Welcome back, Ruffled. So what do you think of Kahuna Hala? Oh, and look what we got... Wait, what you got with you? Cool. Oh, my... I love Rowlet, dude. Except we didn't change the overall sprite, so... You know, it looks, I mean, overall texture, so it looks the same still, but whatever. Uh, it came running out to help you. What a sweet little thing. Yes, mate. That's right. And it saved you. That's amazing. It must have been the fate that you met. The wait, fate that you meet. Uh, you met. Oh wait, meet met. I don't know. Uh, the two of you look great together. I feel happy just looking at the pair of you. Mer. <laughs> cool. I love Rowlet. I don't know how people can like. Some people cannot like Rowlet, dude. Rowlet is the most adorable thing in the world, man. It is just cuteness overload. Straight up, man. The next day. Ooh. Okay. Next day. What's up? I swear to God, our, our in-game mother does this every morning, dude. Like, she's like, ah, I just gotta literally look at the, you know, sunshine every morning. The exact same way. <laughs> what a stunning sunset. Wait, alright, today's the day that I can finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Go see who it is, Ruffled. Sure, I'll check it. I'll check it. No worries, mother. I will check it. Ooh, who may that be? It's a mighty man. Hey there, Ruffled, it's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? But first, I've got to teach you. Yeah, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer, it's the most basic of all the basics. Come on, to it one. Sure, dude. <laughs> I'll take it. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to unpack every last box here. You'll see. Meow. It's a me. Meowth. Meow. <laughs> okay, cool, man. Let's see. So... Here we go. Ruffled, hurry it up, cousin. Pretend you're a Pokemon and use your agility. Sure, man. I'll do that. Just for you, mighty man. I'll just do it for you, professor. Just for you. Here we go. What you got? Yeah, over here, man. Let's see what you got for me, buddy. Let's see what you got for me. 
So, you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out in uh, at you or in tall grass? Yeah? Now that you've got Rowlet there, you can uh, not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, but you can also try to catch him. Whoa, man! It's pretty cool, dude. I'm going to uh, show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eye on the prize. Sure, man. I'll, uh, I'll very much enjoy this. Let's see how this goes. Hey, it's me, Mario. Wait, it's me, Mario. Hey, it's uh, Waluigi. What is the problem, Waluigi? Mario, it's uh, no fun. Hey, Luigi, shut the fuck up. Okay, anyway, so here we go. He's going to try to catch this thing. He's got Tackle, Leer, Sand Attack, and something else. So, let's see what he's going to do with Rockruff, though. I mean, this is just a catching tutorial, though, so it's nothing crazy here. Nothing out of the ordinary, lads. Nothing out of the ordinary. Very casual and normal. You know what I mean? Very casual and normal. Either way, let's see. He's going to go for that bag. And he's going to go for that uh, Poke Bowl. And he's going to go for that use. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Throw that Poke Bowl. Mmm, look, it's, make it look spicy. There you go. It's a grabbing. Catch it, the grabbing, boss. There you go. So, it is going to be... Hey, there you go, boys. Not bad. He caught it. Sweet, sweet home Alabama, boys. There you go, nice. So, now, what's next? Alright, got myself a grubbin. Wild Pokemon do uh, sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them all and they'll join your team and be great help to you. Yep. If your Pokemon get all tuckered out, you can always head home and rest up a bit. Yep. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated, boss. Much appreciated. So, he is gone, and I think I'm going to go back up to where Galissapod was, but I think we're going to be ending this episode here, guys. In the next episode, we'll get our first uh, encounter and our first uh, Pokemon to join us. So, you guys are going to be excited for that. Oh, never mind. We've got to go the other way. Right, because it's blocked off here. Okay, the Tauros is doing its thing. But that's fine. Either way, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, then make sure to drop a like on this video, guys. And also leave a comment down below telling me which of these starter Pokemon would you, would you have chosen. Litten, Rowlet, or Poplio. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. If you enjoyed the video, of course, as per usual, drop a like and subscribe for future videos. We just hit 50,000 subscribers, guys. So if you did come this far into the video, if you actually watched all the way in, do hashtag 50K in the comment section. If you made it this far in... Uh, just do that in the comment section, just so I know that you made it this far in, and you actually watched the full video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you all the next time, have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.